We described a dedicated control system for fuel, but it is one that is fully integrated into the facility through the Building Management System, or BMS. The key for the fuel system controller is to be flexible to integrate to the various leading BMS protocols and vendors. We will try to describe some of the important things about that interface. The fuel system is part of an integrated facility and requires various interconnections with other building systems. These interconnections typically include generators, switchgear, building management systems, and fire alarm or security systems. Generators monitor day tank high level, low level, critical low level, and leaks using relay output signals from the day tank controller. The generator controls are sometimes required to monitor these points for code compliance. In some cases, the generators may use the critical low level as a shutdown condition. Switchgear typically monitors the same points as the generators. It allows the system to switch to alternate generators in the event of fuel system failure. Fire and security systems are sometimes required by local codes to monitor the fuel system low level and leak. This is primarily because these systems typically are monitored on a 24-hour continuous basis, sometimes directly by the local fire department. Building management, or BMS systems, typically monitor the full scope of the fuel system using a data connection. The BMS system has a central graphic interface for all building operations, with one or two screens dedicated to the fuel system. There are a variety of building management system communication protocols. The fuel system controls need to communicate with the selected protocol for the building and the particular vendor for the system. The primary vendors of BMS systems are Siemens, Johnson Controls, Automated Logic, owned by United Technologies, Honeywell, who also owns Allerton, and TAC, who owns Andover. The primary communication protocols are Modbus, BACnet, Metasys N2, and LAN. These may be either MSTP or Ethernet. Vita Root is the primary tank gauge and leak monitoring equipment used for fuel systems. The data communication from this device is an ASCII protocol. Since the Vita Root is so common, many of the BMS vendors have drivers available to integrate this device. In addition, the fuel system controllers typically have drivers so that the Vita Root information can integrate with all of the other fuel system operating information.